everybody, uh, Brett here, and uh, day 54 carnivore diet jury. So two days away from my original commitment of two months, four weeks. And uh, uh, today has been a little bit of a rough day. So um, waking up this morning, everything was good. I had a, a, a 290.5. So I'm back to that 290. I, I bumped up a little bit, come back down. Not the first time, won't be the last. Um, but I um, had an issue because I left my my food that I was going to eat for breakfast, midday, lunch, whatever we want to call it. Um, I had left it at the office I was working at in Ohio. And I didn't realize that until I was back in Kentucky. So um, my good bacon and the eggs and the egg cooker and everything it, it's gone so didn't have any of that so they were going to order lunch from a pizza place that had wings perfect and i look at it and the wings are marinated before they are cooked and uh you know somebody had said one day you know i could take the top off a of pizza and you know the cheese and the meat i, I could do that but I haven't had any cheese in two weeks now. So I was nervous about getting too much cheese and what that might do to my stomach and my bowel movement, bowel movement or anything else. Um, so, so I opted not to eat. I'll grab something at the airport, um, grab a burger with no bun and everything. Got to the airport had to work, didn't have time to actually stop and eat. So worked basically from the time I got there until about four or five minutes before I got on the plane. So um, that didn't work out. So then we got all the way home and I got to eat dinner tonight. So my wife and I, she picked me up from the airport. We went to a restaurant here in Parker, uh, got a ribeye and a sausage. Um, and those were good, but I also ordered wings, right? I said, wings, no sauce. Didn't see anything about marinating or anything else. So I didn't worry about it. Turns out they were breaded. So, um, quite the challenge, I'll call it to eat breaded wings, but not eat the breading. I mean, just like, like tear them apart and breaking out the breading and ripping the meat out of it and everything. It was, it was not a fun deal. So, um, I only ate about six of the 12 wings, um, that I ordered, but I was able to eat, uh, the ribeye and I actually got full. Um, so I only ate about half the ribeye and I ate the, the two sausage links. The links were pretty good size. They were probably, I wouldn't be surprised they were close to a half pound sausage links. So ate two of those uh, and then ate the uh, probably half of the 16 ounce ribeye or 14 ounce ribeye. Um, and then like six chicken wings of the meat that I could get off of. So um, big meal, really and truly. Um, but yeah, just a frustration day, not having the food that I purchased, not getting an opportunity to eat during the day. And then, um, those wings and the, they were so super crispy that like, I know they would have tasted great, but that's not on the plan. So I didn't eat them. I ate a bunch of butter with it. I had them bring me out extra butter. Um, with the ribeye and that. So I know I was getting some funny looks from them. Me opening, you know, the, they're like the aluminum folded up pats of butter, unfolding that, scraping it off with a knife and then putting it on a piece of steak and eating it. They were looking at me funny and then trying to eat those chicken wings without getting the breading. They were looking at me funny, but, but it's all right. Um, and they actually cut me a break. They didn't charge me for the sausages because I didn't take the sides with my ribeye, right? No, I didn't get the two sides. I didn't get the bread. Um, so 
easy peasy. So that was good. But but yeah. But yeah, the the number this morning, 290.5. That was good. Um and uh I was concerned like when I woke up this morning, my stomach didn't feel exactly normal, my new normal, I'll call it. Um, so I was thinking that maybe there might have been a little bit of something in that. Uh, the beef that I ate last night, you know, it was a shredded beef. There was definitely some kind of seasoning and stuff in it. Um, uh, Birria tacos is what they are. The B-I-R-R-A, I think it is. Um, so I think there might have been a little sugar in there or something. So my stomach just wasn't quite perfect. And when I took my blood, that kind of proved it. So my sugar this morning was 138, uh, which is the highest it's been in in maybe two weeks now. Um, and my ketones were back to 1.5. So the ketones started, you know, climbing back up a little bit. Didn't have any bourbon last night. I did have some yesterday, an amazing bourbon. I probably said it, absolutely amazing bourbon. So, um, you know, I'm going to hold off on bourbon here probably for the weekend and probably until next Thursday. And maybe we'll just make it two weeks. I don't know. I just want to make sure that I get back in, back clean, eat clean. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. So it's uh, you know, it's a good, good day. I'm back home. No more hotel art behind me. Now you get to look at my, my wife's uh, little monitor that I bought for her that I'm kind of jealous of. It's a pretty freaking nice monitor. Um, but uh, But yeah, so... Back home, so back to my standard routine. I'm gonna do bacon eggs in the morning. I'm gonna do steak in the evening. And this coming week, um, my wife is joining me. Uh, she's joining me on Carnivore. I don't know if she's gonna join me on here. I'm gonna ask her to. But uh, but yeah, it's uh, should be should be a good time. So I, um, I think that's all I got for you today. Um, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do the stuff. And, uh, you know, we'll keep this going. I'll, uh, I'll definitely be on here tomorrow. I'll definitely be on here Sunday and definitely on Monday. So that's my two months. And then I'm, I have to decide how I'm going to do my accountability because this really is a good accountability thing for me. Um, but I don't know if I want to keep doing this every day. Um, so I might change it up. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep doing it and uh, maybe incorporate a little bit more of, you know, kind of the other stuff into these videos. Uh, you know, I dropped an electrolyte video the other day. I want to put out a video about planning to start carnivore. That's kind of important to me right now because that's what I'm working with my wife on right now is is kind of setting setting her plan. Like, she's like, maybe really going to eat steak every night? Well, you don't have to eat steak every night, but I want to eat red meat every night. First two weeks, got to have red meat every single day. That's that's what I think was a good thing for me. We got to track all the food. We got to, you know, pay attention to numbers. Um, she doesn't think she wants to do the, the keto mojo meter, but I'm going to, again, I'm going to encourage her to do that. So We'll see how that works out. Um, she'll be on here at least once or twice for sure. I will kind of push her into that. Um, but uh, but yeah, other than that, that's all I got. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.